I got started into hip hop um, basically by a homie of mine. We got together, we used to kick rhymes and stuff. And uh, you know, he let me to listen to some Wu Tang. It was a rap after that. Like I left, I left home when I was 17. And my mother, she was a single mother. You know, so kind of growing up without a father was a big thing. You know, but I heard that in all the hip hop songs, which was great. Is why I, you know I could relate to them, and it made me realize that you know we're definitely all equal. So from that, just to growing up, being on my own, working a nine to five job, not wanting to be there. You know what I mean? Because I'm always going over lyrics in my head. Um, just everything, especially with like girl, girl experiences, man. Getting like your heart broke, going through all types of different things, and it just gives gives more people a reason to relate to my music. Y'all ain't know I actually work at Joe Strap yet. Yeah, I'm working a nine to five just to survive. Barely staying alive, hard to stay focused without the drive. See, I bust tables, and my homie Castro is a waiter. I can't wait to blow and say I told you so, haters. It's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. I remember being uh, like 16 or 17 and hearing all these other artists, big artists in the game, Kanye, Jay, you know what I mean, Big L, all these people in which I'm like, damn, like, why can't I be there right now, you know? But um, it's just, it, it, it's something, it's all experience, you know? Just like I said about, you know, from relationships to, to money problems to all these things, it's something that you have to experience in order to make the music better. I really want y'all to hear where I'm coming from, see? Uh, in high school, I wasn't worried about them A's and B's. I was trying to make the flow unkillable to obtain these G's. Murder syllables, yes, I ain't to please. So much ice, they call me Mr. Freeze. Psych. All up under your girl's skirt as if I was the breeze. Flow Celsius, I surpassed the grease, homie, please. And now I'm feeling like I'm number one. Cause nobody made it in the game out of where I'm coming from. Can you feel me? Me and my team devised a scheme to get the cream. Following dreams, living our lives like movie scenes. It started as a teen, sipping niggas smoking green. For music, I was a fiend, my homies know what I mean now. These two projectiles ain't the reptiles. Best get your money in order for you get checked now. Listen, the beat's my bitch, the mic's my mistress. Fiance flow when I engage, don't miss this now. I put a track, you know I kill it to death. Fucking with logic, it's inevitable that I will result in your imminent death. Now hold up and take a breath, homie, ain't nothing left. I'm Gregory House and this game is testing my patience. Been on a low like Freemasons, living amazing. If your shit is hot, my shit is Cajun. Divine white right mind flow, and yes, you know it's Asian. You got six teens, I got mathematical equations. DC, thank you so much for the love. Yeah, this is where everything gets done. As you can see, it doesn't take a million dollars to make a million dollar sound, you know what I'm saying? Um, very simple, my computer's under there, my sound card is my monitor. Um, everything is very simple. This is my uh, my program that I use. Different tracks, record, everything like that. You know what I'm saying? We knock it down, and when I'm actually doing a session, you know, this is where I record everything. This is the mic over here. As you can see, it's the bastard pad. It's dirty as shit, but it's cool. It's really it's not about the, how much equipment or how good your equipment is. It's all about the engineer and how well he knows his program. No mercy, cause if I grip the mic, they might curse me. The veggie flow, before I grip the mic, I'll make a show. For I manifested tendons, I was rhyming as an embryo. Living in vertigo, half of these fuckers don't know. It's logic. <laughs> I said it's logic. As you see, my Jedi powers are far beyond your, 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 your. My YouTube hits are crazy considering what I've done thus far. So like in a week, I could get like, two to three thousand um, views on a video that's just posted but that's just because I'm local you know what I'm saying that's just locally that's just in a couple cities you know what I mean like what I deem is crazy is like oh shit he's got a million hits in two weeks and that will come and a lot of people sometimes are like you know why do you post your own videos or you know hit up people or this or that because I didn't want the views and I want you know it's not like a lot of people have too much pride like oh I let these people do that or or that. no like I'm hands on you know what I mean I don't give a damn even when I'm like Kanye West status I'm gonna be all over my blog like check out my new shit you know what I'm saying like real talk man because it, it's very important to let people know that you're always hungry and that, that it'll never go away. So. Young Sinatra ripping a beat apart, shining like a diamond when I be rhyming, but y'all in the dark on point like a poisonous dart. I can feel it now, the fame is coming soon. I can sky be the limit when it's footprints on the moon now. Here's something that everybody needs to know. This is real shit, and I've learned this firsthand. This is a secret for all you rappers out there, okay? You have to wake up every day and believe that you are already like a, wherever you want to be whether you want to be the best underground artist or a superstar that's why i'm going to be like kanye status i cannot go to i hop and eat i gotta rent that joint out and buy extras and actors so i feel normal <laughs> like, that's what i want so i visualize that, that that's who i already am of course in a humble state because 
if the people do not believe, but that your talent exceeds theirs, you know what I mean, in this field, um, if they don't believe that, then you're not going to get there. So you have to believe it and you have to make them believe it so that you can get to that level. Because what differentiates, you know, what's the difference between me and Kanye West? But, you know what I'm saying, the fact that he's famous and I'm not, that's the only thing. And he made the people believe that he was famous. And Kanye West, for one, was like, I had to tell myself that I was the best. And that's why I had this ego, because nobody else would believe it. So I had to tell me. And that obviously stuck with him, and that's why we love him. You know what I'm saying? So, remember that shit.